Hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo Arctic Edition. So, last time you saw me it was kind of nighty time, but I needed it to be daytime. I needed it to be daytime so I could take some nice thumbnails. I took a little thumbnail like kind of this of the of the snow leopard looking all cool in the grass. Um, you may notice that there are some changes to the pen. Uh, I had some small issues while I was basically waiting for it to be daylight. Um, these guys escaped. Firstly, they escaped because I didn't have a climb-proof bit on my pen. You can see I've put that climb-proof barrier topping on now. And also, this was only two meters high and it needed to be three meters. So what happened was, I was, I was like, just, you know, waiting for the day to come. And suddenly, everyone was running scared and the snow leopards were outside. And I could see them actually, like, physically climbing up over the walls. And it was kind of hilarious. It was very, very hilarious. And <laughs> so then I put the climb-proof barrier top on. And then they just jumped out. They just went, wee and just jumped out. And that was kind of hilarious, too. So, mm, I kind of wish I had recorded that, but I, I didn't. So you you kind of it's spare the the smack my head moment but also the hilarity of me going oh my goodness look they're jumping out it was quite funny so so they're back now i paid i paid to have one put back in and the vet did the other one but unfortunately my finances are terrible right now and i have i had to take a loan as well loans are terrible loans are really bad so we need to do something to try and make this zoo profitable if possible I don't know what though, but on the plus side as well, my reindeer did, my reindeer did breed. So I'm going to try my best to pay my loan back off as soon as I can. I feel that one thing that would be good, the guests are not too happy. They're not happy with education, hunger or thirst. So I feel that maybe putting some more educational things in might help. Also maybe a bit of marketing. So we might do a little bit of just generally trying to get the zoo to be more profitable today. Um, so... What have we got? We do have a doll sheep education sign and a doll sheep. Do we have a doll sheep speaker? No, we don't. Okay, interesting. Ah, I have enough now to pay off my loan. I might just do that because that's going to be, it's going to be killing me. It's going to be absolutely killing me, the interest on it. So let's just pay it off. Done. I didn't pay too much interest on it that way. But I'm going to be very limited for, for money and things. So what do I want to do? One thing I want to do firstly is to sort out this litter problem as well. So I'm going to see where the litter problem is. People have been giving me a bit, little bit of advice on uh, on how to move about my staff. So... I'm low on cash, I'm not, it's not too bad though. I just need to keep it going, it's fine. So my caretakers, apparently I was saying a caretaker was rubbish when I had just hired them as well. <laughs> so apparently if I go to them and I bring up their tab, I can move them using this button. So wherever you are, I can move you and I can put you next to say this bin here that needs emptying. And say, go, go and empty that bin, please. And hopefully they'll go and they'll start emptying the bins that need emptying. Um, there's also a little tiny bit of something over here that they don't like. What's that? What don't they like there, then? They are literally going past that speaker and going, oh my goodness, I hate this. Let's just see if, like, as the range goes up on the speaker. Oh. oh, I was on education for some reason. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see. Negative impact on guests, anyway. They really... If I... I'm going to delete that and just see if that... Wow, that caused a negative impact on guests, having a speaker there. They did not like it at all. How very strange. I'll put some more polar bear signs about the place. 
But now what I want to do is get a caretaker maybe up here. So I'm just going to go to zoo. I'm going to go to the caretakers and I'm going to move them manually. To try and sort this litter problem out. So you're commuting. So I want to move you over to here and hopefully you'll just pick up some of this trash. Just can't do it myself. But it's good because I can see where the litter is and they're trying to sort it out. It's not even actually saying that I've got pro litter problems anymore, but I'm trying to get rid of them. And the Arctic theme is level three. Oh, very nice. I should be able to make some really nice things now. Once I've got that to level four, I'm going to be doing some building. and I'm going to make myself an exhibit thing. I feel like I need marketing as well. No, I need education more and hunger and thirst. Energy, they're kind of okay on, so I'm not going to bother too much with benches. But hunger, thirst, and education are really, really bad. So maybe an information booth might be a good thing. Zoo is still low on cash. I know, I'm trying so hard. One of my doll sheep has matured, lovely. Right, so, the staff room is so far away, I'll be worn out by the time I get there. Uh, yeah, there's a problem with this zoo, honestly. I want you to go there, please. I'm happy at work, I could do with a rest, okay. So I could really do with some, uh, with some more staff room facilities, possibly. We're up to 3,500 cash now, so that's starting to improve. I want to put exhibits in next. That is my thing. Now, you are walking the wrong way. You need to be cleaning up this bin. How is the litter in the rest of the zoo? Seems alright, but the bins are a bit full. Alright then. Where's my other caretaker? So that is Eddie Goodwin. So Brooke, Brooke is having a rest. Well, they're getting there. They're getting on top of this litter problem now. Right, so the doll sheep. There is a male doll sheep that's going to start fighting with the other doll sheep for the constant, for state, bleh, for alpha status. Okay, we seem to be profitable now, and I think that that is to do with the fact that I've cleaned up all the litter. It's helping quite a bit, so good, good. We'll see if the litter becomes more a problem again, then we'll we'll try and sort it, but it it's getting there. I'll come back to it in just a minute. I may need a caretaker that just goes around doing litter and does nothing else, possibly. But we'll see. Okay, anyway. Dull sheep. They're going to be fighting for alpha status, so let's get out of that mode and go and have a little look at this pen. See who we've got in here. In fact, no, let's go to the zoo management screen. Go to the animals. Go to the dull sheep. So we, we have William and we have Wehil. Now, Wehil will be related to some of the others. So what I always do with the male sheep, so with this it's going to be a, an alpha male, so it's going to be sell off the male sheep and keep the female sheep and just keep rotating the stud basically. And it looks like all the babies unfortunately came out as male. Uh, may need to buy more females as well. But yeah, I need to sell the males. We've got lots and lots of conservation credits because I sold the reindeers. I also need to look for a new reindeer male as well. So, you are going to go to the trade centre. There we are, so he's going to the trade centre. And then I'm going to go and have a look in animal trading and see if we've got a nice male reindeer this time. I like to wait to see see that's much better 360 for like a not too bad 
reindeer. That one, slightly better, but very, very expensive. That one, hmm. Honestly, the cheap one, 360 is absolutely fine. Uh, how old? Five years old. Decent. Okay, perfect. Because at the moment, all my reindeers are female. I don't have a male reindeer. So we're not going to have any baby reindeer. And then, like, that means that then we don't have any cool things for people to look at. Well, we do, but, you know. At the moment, we only have three female reindeer in there. That's terrible. And they're getting older. I mean, one of them was probably one of the babies. I don't know. Maybe all of them were babies. I don't know. The zoos, the zoos in year 12. Yeah, so they, these are some of the original babies that we had. So we've got a new reindeer. And we are going to sell my doll sheep. So we're just going to let it play for a second. We are profitable again. Sorting out that litter seems to have really helped. Sorting out the education will help a good deal more as well. So that's the next thing I'm going to focus on. I'm going to just uh, pop the reindeer into quarantine quickly though. So you need to get sold, and you need to get transferred to quarantine. So let's just have a look. So for a doll sheep, I'm just gonna have a quick look at what the going rate is right now. See what I can can make here. What I feel would be fair as well, because that's as important. I don't need the reindeer still in. Oh, reindeer off. Please, filter. And... Gosh, these guests are noisy at the moment, aren't they? Oh, they're not selling for very much at all anymore. Wow, people must have bred loads of them and the price has gone down. Let's have a look at the sort of genetics we're looking at. Honestly, there seem to be loads of males right now. What's his genetics like then? Is he good? Is he a really good one? Or is he, he's got a, a gold star on him and he's got pretty decent genetics actually. So why don't we try and trade him for about 100? And just see what we get. Over the new year, it was terrible. It was really difficult to, to even get a sheep. I hate this slider, but then it's not letting me, it's not letting me delete. Why aren't you letting me delete zeros? Come on. Put it down to one and then add two zeros on. That's a bit easier, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so we'll see if he goes. He's a good little sheep. He'll do someone, he'll make someone a really nice stud sheep. Okay, quarantine has been passed by my reindeer. So let's get you into your new habitat. Over here. And you can start making babies. Now what I'll need to do is make sure that there's no contraceptives on the existing reindeer. And then we need to work on the snow leopards environment as well. Make them feel a bit more cosy and at home in their in their place. Um, I was saying that I might give them the same house that the wolves have and just change over the wolves to make them leopards. So I think I think to do that though, I'm going to need to make a blueprint. So let's just go on the multi selection tool and make that into. It really annoys me when I can't when I like grab a tree and uh, fine whatevs. Save selection as blueprint. Uh, wolf. Uh, stone building. For hab. For habitat. 
It is a largish shelter, I would say. I think. Stone, no, uh, brick shelter. There we are, created a blueprint for that. So now I can go to my blueprint and I can put that same shelter into the snow leopard's pen for their hard shelter, so. <gasps> Look at those arctic buildings, oh they're so pretty. Oh, I need to change everything to them. Oh, they're so nice. Oh, it's a massive Christmas tree. Oh, now Christmas is over. Why do all these things happen when Christmas is over? I'm just too slow with these things, I know. A large cat habitat. Oh my goodness. They've just put in there like a whole massive habitat for big cats. It's just done. Wow. A bear habitat. Those are really cool as well. A herbivore habitat. I, mean, I don't think they're any prettier than some of the ones I make, you know. Not that I'm tooting my own horn or anything. But right, anyway, down here, my blueprints is what I want. Because I want... Tiger Rock, Tiger Rock Den Brick Shelter. That's what we want. I'm going to put it over this side. And turn it around. Ooh. It's rather large, isn't it? I'll put it about there. What I'm then thinking is to edit it, edit the group. I'm going to take all the wolves off and I'm going to find the equivalent um, for the big cats. So let's find a sign. Let's type cat. No. Mm. Leopard? Uh, there's a cheetah sign. Uh, lion. And uh, the cheetah one might out honestly be just good enough. Tiger. Leaping tiger. Hyena, deer. Mm, nothing as a snow leopard, I don't think. So, what I think I'll do is I'll use the cheetah ones. There's big cat signs. Got a, leaping, got a leaping big cat on there, basically. Why is it? Why does it look wonky? Is that that must just be me, right? That that looks a bit wonky. But it's got all the beds inside and everything, all just ready done, which is pretty nice. I am going to just uh, ed exit out of the edit now, and I'm going to actually just very slightly advance move rotate the whole thing. Just a little bit. I think it could do with just a bit of a rotate. Try that. Okay, so they've given them, like, food on the floor there, but I think they need some proper food and water trays for their habitat. I don't know if that is a bit of a big structure, honestly. I'm pretty sure they're going to have that feeder and they're going to have that water. Yeah. They looked a bit thirsty there, so let's see how they're doing now. So they don't have any enrichment items, but I may well have some things that they would like, so 
Because I know that the polar bears and stuff like that would probably have some things that would cross over. So let's have a little look. They are snow leopard. So they quite like blocks of ice. They like cardboard boxes because they are cats. Cats love stuff like that. They are, they would like something to climb on. Do you guys need a climbing frame? I make you a climbing frame. We've not got any like climbing frames already done. Man. I can give them some stuff to climb on then. Some climbing branches. But they clearly need them. Maybe a big tree or something. So yeah, enrichment is getting better. So it's their food enrichment really we need to sort out now. I like to give them things to climb. Because I noticed the bears and things would actually climb up, climb up trees and everything. So food enrichment. They don't have any food enrichment right now. I'm going to have to do some research there. I'll give them a fire hose ball as well. And then we'll see. Okay, so water treatment is failing. I'll call a mechanic to that one. So that's the polar bears one. We have uh, some more wolf research done into the Arctic wolves. We can give them a bit more of a nice place to stay. Oh no, the guests are throwing food in. Oh, I hate it when this happens. It's really annoying. Toy, toy enrichment. You don't have enough toy enrichment polar bears. so oh, I need to sort that out. Let's do that then for a second. Money is going up in the meantime, which is great. So let's get ones that are polar bear specific. Maybe they just got bored of all their toys. It happens sometimes. They just get a bit bored. Yeah, no. So, you. You do not like your toy enrichment. So have a ball. Have a box. Have a block of ice, because you don't have enough ice in your pen, clearly. And have a scent marker thing. Great. Food enrichment. Bamboo feeder. Put that up there. I need more toy enrichment as well. Um, have a massive snowball. No? No, the snowball's not good enough. Okay. How about a fire hose ball? That's fine. Okay. they got lots of toys now. Yay, polar bear toys. One of the reindeers is about to mate. Look, they are so happy. They are doing a little boop. Booping reindeers. Yeah, they look a lot better in their environment. So their welfare is actually only 97 right now. Uh, because they are do not have enough toy enrichment, apparently. That's apparently a thing. So let's have a look and see if we've got anything that would help the reindeers with their toy enrichment. Or the reindeer, sorry. I keep saying reindeers. It's like really bad grammar. Okay. We could give them a snowman skittle. Is that enough to help? Yes. Gave them a snowman in their place. So now their nutrition is the only thing that could be improved, and that's the meal quality. Let's see if we can improve their meal quality at all. Barrier status is really low as well. Let's get a mechanic over here. I may need to hire some more mechanics, but I have to be really careful. Now they're already on grade 2 food. So that gives them 98% welfare. It's decent. And you also have damage barriers. Hurrah! So we need three mechanics. One for the water pump and two for failing barriers. That's not good. That barrier is 50%. That barrier is really good. Because it's only just been built. Should be. Right, I'm going to have a look at the snow leopards again. Just see if they are happy with their place. <laughs> they don't like their meal. That's not something I can do anything with right now. Can't do food enrichment right now. Everything else is pretty perfect. 
98% plants. What's wrong with the plants? Do you not like one of the plants? You don't like those trees and bushes. Okay. Well, fine. I will get rid. Hmm. I thought there was a second cowberry plant on the other side of there. I do, I do feel like I need to do something with the bottom of this and put like a ledge or something around it, like I've got up here, just around the bottom there. Um, I would do that before I did anything, like put this up on the Steam Workshop or anything like that. But right now, I, I feel like it's okay. It's fine. We've got other building that I want to do today, and we're 25 minutes in, and all I've done is kind of made the zoo profitable, sorted out some litter problems. I want to see if those litter problems have now completely gone away or whether we are really struggling. Right, I need one more caretaker, I think. Yay, new research. Animals are hungry and they've eaten guest food. Oh, that is more of a problem than litter. Are you giving these guys some food? Okay, good. Oh my goodness, we had a baby polar bear and I didn't even notice. And it's already three and a half years old. We got a baby polar bear in our zoo. All right, so we need to really work on guest education as well. Oh man, I need to work on everything. But yeah, where did that keeper go with that bucket of food? Where are you off to? Have I got some kind of feeder over here somewhere that you're taking that to? Oh, I see. It's all the food enrichment items that they're filling up. Well, the baby is eating that now, so that's fine. I'm slightly worried that they ate guest guest food, though. Mechanic is on route. Power source is failing. Call mechanic again. The zoo is low on cash. Where did all that cash suddenly go? Like, why am I suddenly going from several thousand to, like, n nothing? This is happening all the time as well. What? Where, where did that money go? Why am I suddenly getting like thousands and thousands of... Oh, I know. It's every time we feed the polar bears. I bet you it's every time we, we feed the polar bears. We go into a massive debt. Ongoing expenses. Animal food, 20,000. <laughs> Why are polar bears so flippin' expensive to feed? I'm gonna have to lower, I think I'm gonna have to lower their food quality, possibly, because I've got them on, I think, level two food. I may just have to lower the quality of their food. I hate doing that. Really hate it. I wonder if the food uh, is like proportional to the, the size of their pen or something. But I need something to, to help. They were say someone was saying, Oh gosh, 5,000 per feed. Yes, yeah, so every time I feed them, it costs 5,000. So I'm going to put some more educational stuff around here and, and maybe another information desk or something. Do I have an information desk at all? I think I do at the beginning. I think I put in here an information desk. I think it's that one. Yeah. So, 100% of customers are happy with it. It's making profit. It's made 20,000 in profit. There's no unhappy customers. And it's served 120 customers. 
I just want information on what would make the zoo a better place to be, you know? Um, they seem to be lacking education, but they don't like the educational speakers, apparently. So I'm just trying to work out what to do to make the education better. So facilities. Oh, I can't make anything anyway, because I've got no money. So I guess I'm going to try and make some money. This could go really wrong. Yeah, the, the, the guest numbers are dwindling. Oh, we're going to get a, a baby reindeer. Maybe that'll be a good thing. But yeah, it's... Oh, one of my doll sheep has matured. But yeah, the polar bears are absolutely... I, I was so excited for the polar bears. Um, and they brought in this Arctic pack as a way to sort of, um, you know, give you things like polar bears. And then they're so expensive to keep. And so difficult to keep. And because the the way I got the pen, it's such a large place. It's it's difficult to get the donations in. I mean, the people don't seem to be donating for these polar bears. One hundred twenty-seven there for the polar bears. This one over here. Thousand five hundred. That doesn't even feed them. This one. Three hundred for the reindeer. 49 for the polar bear. So, like, they, they don't keep... They do not keep themselves. Nothing's gone into that donation box at all. They do not keep themselves. I'm actually going to move that one to where there's a few more guests. Which is over here. So, there's not much I can do until I have... Until I have cash, unless I take a loan. I could take a loan and try and do marketing with it, or I could get more food and drinks in. They're happy with toilet. They're not happy with their education at all. But again, I can't do anything until I have more money, so. Our polar bear food is horrendous. It's really, really bad. They're not even on the good food either. Come on, let's have a profit here. Come on. The zoo is profitable, but it's just I don't have enough of a float of cash right now. I don't want to take a big loan. Because then I get stung with the interest. It's difficult. Alright. We're back in a profit now. Okay, so with that small amount of profit that I've got, I'm going to put more of the um, the boards in. So. Facilities. And it is a... Viewing device and speakers. Conservation education board. See, that one doesn't seem to bug the guests. It's interesting, isn't it? How there was one that just really bugged the guests. They really didn't like it. Oh, wow. This has got some interesting stuff on climate change. Population. Repair of the ozone layer. Traditional medicine. Land sharing versus land sparing. No, climate change would be an amazing one for the polar bears. You know why? Because they get really, really messed up by it. I need a little bit of a turnaround, I think, actually. It's just... I know, I get very finicky about these things. 
I'm gonna put these everywhere because I'm really struggling for my education and that's gonna really help. Let's pop one in here by the wolfies. Yeah, somewhere where a lot of them will see it, I think. There's a wee bench there. We could definitely put one in like around here next to that bench. And what are we going to have them looking at on this one? So this one, I think we're going to... What would be good for wolves? Do they struggle for land mate? Oh, for snow leopards. Maybe deforestation. This is amazing. I'm not gonna read all of that out. Like, if you want, I've just sort of scrolled through it. You'll probably read it if you pause the video. Now then, I need to just have a quick check of my education and make sure that things are not overly, uh, being overly annoying or overlapping too much. I saw guest education a minute ago. Oh, there we are. It's on guest education already. So that's really helping the zoo. The education rating's coming up. I'm gonna put these everywhere. <laughs> these are amazing. Conservation education boards are so good. So what have we done so far? We've done deforestation. I'm gonna put one over here, just by the start. I was gonna make my exhibit enclosure thing today, but. How about ecotourism by the reindeers? Reindeer, reindeer. Because a lot of people may actually visit their natural habitats. Tourism traffic, uh, people, ecotourism allowing people to visit interesting places non-invasively. And how's that doing for my education rating? Let's just um, play it for a sec. They seem really happy now, much happier with their education. It's still not great though. But we are back into a profit. One thing I, I want to do is around the park, around maybe the other side of the park, where there's still a lot of people, maybe over here or something, I want to put um, a gulpy soda. Now then, guest facilities. Oh, look at that Arctic shop shell. Oh, so pretty. Is that a double shop? Large toilet, small toilet. Oh, I want them. I want to just quickly play it and see if I can just get the 1,700 we need. Come on. To put that shop shell in. It's so pretty. So pretty. So much more money than anything else, but it's so pretty. Hey. Oh look, guys. Wasn't oh, that gorgeous? I'm so happy. Right, now I've got to see if I've got enough money to put the actual, like, chief beef, gulpy soda, all that stuff in. Information center, gulpy soda. Well, it will just be a gulpy soda and a chief beef in there for now. Um, I should start researching other places for them to eat and drink and things like that, because that really does help with the, the cash flow. Quite a lot. One, two, three, and down you go. 
Come on, give me funds. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. Little Arctic shop we've got there. It's going dark, so you can't see it so well. Mm, when I have another 2,000, I'll put a gulpy soda in the other side. And then that'll help the guests' uh, food and drink needs, hopefully. Their educational needs will still need to work on. Give me the funds. You can do it, Zoo. We need these. We need these shops so we can afford to feed the polar bears. Oh, now it's date proper daytime. Look, it's just like a little Christmas market stall. It's so cute. Love it. I think we need some trees around the place, so... More of those big sort of larchy tree things. I, I need tundra trees, basically. Biome. Tundra. Trees don't cost too much, and I think... I think a cute tree behind here... Would look really good. These guys, um, I was still doing their planting, wasn't I? I was doing a little bit of planting to make them a bit happier. I don't know whether they'll actually now be happy with their plants. Now I've removed the ones they didn't like. And they're hungry. Oh no. I think I may need to hire a new keeper. I'm hoping that the things I've done to help with the money will... And my Dar sheep is about to die of old age. That's a shame, but I've got enough credits to replace any any sheep that dies of old age or anything like that. Okay. Thank you for your service to the zoo, Tyrian. Rest in peace. An animal died, but of old age, and I never mind that too much. Bet research into the Arctic wolf. The, z the zoo is low on cash. Mechanic research is complete. Arctic theme is finished. Habitats are finished. Wonderful. So, with those finished, I am thinking food and drink shops, souvenir shops, all that sort of stuff. We need to be getting more variety in so we can make more money on those. I want to put more of those cute more, have more of those cute buildings for the food and drink shops. Amazing. I love them so much. They are so cute. And they have huge queues as well. Uh, what's the barrier status? Hmm. The mechanic's right there. <laughs> oh, the snow leopards are about to mate. And also, I have donation profits of 18,000 a year. Wonderful. I am going to start doing some marketing. Because everything else, the guest happiness has gone right the way up, which is amazing. The education rating is a little bit dodge. The animal rating is decent and the conservation rating is decent. So what I want to do now, now they're a bit happier, I'm making more profits as well. So I might actually be able to feed my animals. But yeah, I want marketing. I think this is the point where marketing will actually benefit the zoo rather than overwhelm it but we'll see I forget where marketing is don't worry I'll find it it's fine so let's have some low impact so let's have a poster campaign and then let's just see how that does hopefully that will increase guests and increase profit guest happiness isn't too great though Still really struggling with education, so I just need to put a lot more boards and things in, I think. So one good place, I think, where people will, a lot of people will see a, an educational board would maybe be had to have something about the polar bears down the polar bears bridge. So 
Let's see if we can do that. Because I'm putting educate. I feel like I'm putting loads of educational stuff in. And then there's like, no, education is bad. And I'm like, what? No. No way. Information. So anything that's about information. Information center. Okay. Guest facilities, information. Star facilities, information. Utilities. Bins, benches, and security. Little picnic tables and things like that. Security cameras. Do not disturb signs. Do not feed signs. I need that for the polar bears. Do not feed my polar bears. Because they ate guest food and then that was not good. So that's some information. Oh no, my arctic wolf is gonna die of old age. Oh no. What a shame, I'll need to get another one. And they never bred the whole time. They're both 13 as well. Okay. Oh, this is not good. What I think I am going to need to do here, though, is I'm going to need to probably just change over both the Arctic Wolves. So I'm going to take you to the Trade Center. We're going to get some younger ones. You might need to go to a retirement home. They're never going to breed at that age now. I'm really happy the polar bear's bred, though. We've got baby polar bear. That's really cute. Um, let's sort this out, though. We've got 2,000 credits. All oh, right, so I can quick trade you. That was a cash purchase. So that's not too bad, then. Just a cash purchase. So I need some new arctic wolves to put in my arctic wolf pen. Five years old, six years old. Fertility is a bit bad on them, isn't it? And where's all the where's all the girls? Like, I'll adopt a boy. Why is there no girls? Refresh. Give me a girl. Any girls? No, they're all boys. I will need to come back to that then. And I need more education. So we're going to put educational speakers like everywhere. So I'm going to turn on the educational overlay just to make sure that the speakers aren't overlapping each other. And I hope that they're not going to annoy people because they seemed to. It's really weird. In certain places they were really annoying. So I'll put a load down and if they do annoy people because they're overlapping or whatever it is that they don't like. I don't know. The exhibit education boards, I imagine, are just for exhibits. There's a music speaker, there is an ambient speaker, and there is an educational speaker. So, we'll do another Arctic Wolf one there. I think that's a polar bear one. That one seems to be not actually even turned on correctly. And I'll just see... If people find that really super annoying, or not. Not that there's many people around that side. Okay, well let's just um, try and put these over to polar bears and just... Increase the range on them so that they're going across the path as well. Same with this one. Increase the range on that one so it's going across the path a little bit more. And this one. I we'll need to that do polar bears. What's wrong with that one? That one's got no power to it. Okay. That 
That one does have power though. And I can increase the range on that one quite a lot. So I, what I could probably do there is just re move this one with no power somewhere else that has power. Go over there or something. Polar bear. Yeah, and this one here about the doll sheep. I'm going to increase the range on that one. I'm going to see if this helps at all in the slightest. So that's all about the doll sheep. How is that helping with your education then? Not very much, is it? Kind of sucks, really. All these speakers everywhere. Move that one a bit. Move. Don't want overlaps. That one there has got nothing on at the moment. So let's move that one over here. And that can tell people all about if there is power. Seems to be. I'm going to tell people all about the snow leopards. And then there should be one, hopefully, somewhere about the Arctic wolves. And let's increase the size of that one. And the education still is pants, though. So I'm going to put another information center in, I think. In the meantime, we have actually got loads more... Uh, there's more stuff. And also, I need to put the, the dude into... The wolf into animal trading. I've been doing so much stuff with the zoo, though. Into quarantine. There you go. Right, so animal trading. I want to go back to the wolves and see if any females are in there now. Or if it's all still... A big boys party. Yeah, it is. Oops, this is not good. I need to do a big batch. I can't even wait until like tomorrow to see if there's more that turn up, unfortunately. That really sucks. Well, let's just increase the range on this reindeer speaker as well. Meow. And there's a couple here that I don't even really know if I need them, actually. I could put that over there, and um, it's got no power. Oh, man. How about we just bin that one? That one also has no power. I'm gonna bin that one as well. I don't understand, like, what I need to do to raise this rating, because it's not like I'm suddenly adding something in it. It's like, ooh, guest education rating right through the roof. Amaze balls. It's like, terrible. So I'm going to put in another uh, information center and I'll just see if that helps at all. There's not much I can do, you know. You can put in boards, you can put in these conservation boards, but they don't seem to make a big difference either. An info shop. No, I want to put an Arctic themed info shop in. So what I'm going to do is look for the um, Arctic shell. Keep a heart, there's an exhibit. So I could put exhibits all around the place, actually. But I want to make a a, a a big exhibit place for them. And I may make it out of Arctic pieces. That will be next episode, though, if I do that. Because this episode has been a lot of just playing around with the snow leopards, making them a cool place to live, and generally um, making, making shops and stuff like that. So uh, I want a shop. So that would be a guest facility, wouldn't it? Well, I'm sure there was a small shop shell. There we go. Pop that up there. I'm going to put an information center in it. I'm basically going to make new things um, out of the Arctic stuff that I've researched. And then I'm going to start replacing. So let's see if the uh, another information center... 
Ugh, I need to move that. Hang on. Let's see if another information center helps at all. With this whole educational stuff. Because I'm really not understanding what I'm doing wrong with that. Because it's the only thing that I really struggle with. Really struggle with it as well. No nothing I do ever seems to be enough. Let's have a look. Information center 10. No vendor. Of course, no vendor. They normally uh, hires you a new vendor when... I don't know. Let's put him in anyway. Can you jump in there, please? Cool. So that's my information center. I'm hoping people will go there. There's a lot of guest traffic past that information center. The marketing and everything doesn't seem to be doing much to help the zoo at the moment. We do, we're still sub a thousand guests right now, and it's because they're unhappy, and they're unhappy with the hunger, thirst, and education rating. They seem fine with toilets. And they seem fine with uh, energy. So benches and things like that don't seem to be too much of an issue. I'm hoping that the guest education will go up with the more information centers around the place. But we're back down to losing money on the zoo again. I'm hoping my big exhibit center will help with that. I'm going to make a big building for it. I'm going to put it around here, I think. Um, well, I would like a keeper to go and sort that out then, please. And uh, probably a mechanic to sort out the barrier. So I think I'm going to leave it there. We put in a lot more educational stuff today. It does... The zoo rating does seem to be going up. The guest happiness does seem to be going up slowly. Probably more honestly to do with the gulpy sodas and things. The education, you seem to need to do a lot of educational stuff to get anywhere with it, to get anywhere with raising it. So what I'm going to do is put in, uh, when I put in my exhibit um, area, I'm going to be putting in lots and lots and lots of these exhibit signs and hopefully that will in increase things as well. Vendors. There's not enough vendors in this zoo at all. The... Have a couple more. There's not enough vendors, there's not enough caretakers, there's litter everywhere. Oh my goodness me. Mechanic has high amounts of litter again. So, yeah. I need to sort this out. Sort this out proper. So I'm going to have to have a look on a lot of my heat maps and really sort that out before I really start on any other animals. Uh, let's have a look. Negative impact on guests. We don't have as much litter as we used to. However, around here where I've just put in a whole new area, we don't possibly have enough bins. <laughs> so maybe I need to sort that out. That really messes with people. They don't like it when there's not enough bins. They should just make the bins part of the shop shell. <laughs> I'm going to put one on either side there. I'm also going to put a recycling bin next to it. On either side there. And then I'm going to move a caretaker over to this area because this is going to be causing me some horrible problems. And then I'll end the episode and the caretakers can just do their thing. I spend a lot of time commuting. This zoo is a large zoo. It's very large. Okay, we're back to being profitable again. And I have also reduced crime. Yay! Two and a half thousand buckaroonies. Very nice. Thank you. I still don't like the fact that the staff room is so far away. Um, so what I might do is put the staff room maybe around here somewhere. In fact, there's a staff path here. I think a staff room over here might be a good idea. I'll just do that for them. Like... It's going to help them out. So I'm going to give them an Arctic staff room. If I can. If there is one. Um, Arctic. Keep a hut. Quarantine. Research center. Staff center. 
No, that can't be anywhere near. Oh, why is it so big? It doesn't fit anywhere. And that's a small one. But it's so pretty. In fact, it's not going anywhere. Is it? Is it too expensive? No. Oh. Oh, it's the negative impact on guests. It wasn't that it wouldn't fit. It was just that it would negatively impact the guests. But that's fine. As long as it's on a staff path away from everything. That's fine. Terrain modification failed. I need this filter off. Oh man. That would have been an ideal place for it as well. It's so pretty. Why do the guests not like it? I'm trying to work out a good place for it to go. Honestly, maybe just in behind here. Now we have insufficient funds. Wonderful. Because they fed the blinking polar bears. Ah. Okay, I'm guessing the staff room may happen next time. I must say it's very difficult to do anything when polar bears cost so much to feed. And now we have three of them. So absolutely having more pens uh, small, of smaller things is going to help considerably with this. I'm just going to see if I start making a bit of money now. The guests are unhappy again. Their educational rating is going up. Oh, now they're happy. Yay! I think that may depend very much on whether the vendors are, are sitting in their in their places and they're getting enough food and drink. Come on, give me like 4,000. Cuz I make money until the until the polar bears get fed and then it's like no money for you. And like I say, I'm really really reluctant to take loans. I hate them. Just paying money for nothing. Oh, it looks like we fed the cheetahs too. Uh, the snow leopards that are totally not cheetahs. Okay, what's going on now? Mechanic hasn't attended to the habitat. I do need another mechanic, I believe. Okay, cool. We got that in. So the, the staff will be a little bit less irritated with the fact that, that there's nothing for the There's nowhere for them to go, you know. Hopefully, they'll be like, well, there's a place over here and there's a place over here. Wonderful. I don't know. I might need some keepers huts and things around here as well so that they're there for the arctic wolf and for the uh, snow leopards. That might be a good thing. And it might also even be a good thing to maybe hollow out some more of this or have some staff area over here for the... Oh, we're going to get a baby snow leopard! Oh, wow. Leopard cub. Fantastic. What good news to end the episode. Guys, why are you sleeping outside? You've got like a nice place you can go. You've got your hard shelter. <sighs> no accounting for the taste of these animals. I don't know. Also, what happened to that? <laughs> I am very confused. As to why that's so out of place. Uh, and how is it so not straight as well? I really don't get what happened there. 
It got broked, I think is the explanation for that one. It just got broked. Oh my goodness, it's not even straight like that way around. Do you see? It's not even straight that way around. Like, it's, it's literally got like the most wonky thing ever in the world. I don't even know what happened there. Serves me right for trying to build something cool, huh? So what's the, the, the view like for the guests for this? Let's, let's go and see what this guest is seeing. Oh look, they can see when the barrier is looking cracked. That's really interesting, huh? Education helps guests stay at maximum happiness for longer. Like, the education is slowly going up. Yeah, it's gone up by half a star. So maybe you have to put all these educational things in and wait for people to actually read them before the rating goes up. So I've actually managed to add, and I'm quite happy about this, in this episode, half a star of education rating on. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, they're a bit unhappy with the litter as well. I can understand that. I can quite understand that. The hunger and thirst is getting better uh, with the extra stalls. I could still probably do with another one somewhere else. But we're getting there. And there's more guests in here now. And we have a little bit of money to feed the polar bears with. So I feel a little bit happier with leaving it at this stage. Because even though there are many things with... Wow. Well, they finished mechanic research. And drink shops and food shops. Great. Keep going with that. Mechanic, mechanic, mechanic. Water treatment failed. That's awful. I don't want the water treatment to fail. So we definitely do need another mechanic. I am going to hire one mechanic. I hate hiring staff, just in case you hadn't realised. But I am aware that it's necessary sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to give them one more mechanic. And hope that they can keep up with it. The keepers have a high workload, but no one has starved yet. And we've not had any diseases due to dirty habitats yet. So we'll see. The vendors have a huge workload. Apparently. And the vets also have a huge workload. But, you know, we'll, we'll slowly get more in as we get more profit into the zoo. And I may raise ticket prices in a minute as well. The marketing seems to be working quite well. One more thing before we go. I know it's an hour and seven already. I want to just have a look and see if we've got any female wolves yet. Or if they're still all boys. Oh man, really? Wow. So I'm gonna go and edit this, I think. And then see if any cheaper female <laughs> wolves come out. And then I'll add an extra female wolf in and we'll see if we can actually get some breeding going on with those guys. I don't know what happened. They just never bred. Just didn't feel like it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe their pen's too big. <laughs> maybe their maybe the hard shelter is not romantic enough. I really don't know. But um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you would like to see more Planet Zoo, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.